Here's something very neat I received towards the end of 2006. It's a little sort of um, brooch, is it? A little necklace thing. That's it. it's, it's, you put that on a necklace, I think it probably it is, but it's an optical one. It's one of these fiber optic pieces. I call them um, image conduits. If I bring it up to camera, we'll see what the effect is. It's just a little bit of, it's a, a shape, shape, shape like a star. Now, see if I can get it up into this, this what, what I really like is this, this blue thing here. If I can see if I, see if I can get the blue bit into focus there. And that's sitting on the top surface of the um, star. The star is a good um, quarter in, or half an inch thick, and yet the images come right up to the top surface as if by magic. It's been carried up really by, by optical fiber. That's what that piece is, it's an optical fiber piece. But in the form, shape of a tiny little, um, item you put on your neck, a little ornament, a neck ornament, so very nice bit of um, science and art together. The other item I got is from Angus Lavery, who makes wonderful impossible cards, and this is a set he's very proud of because he decided to have a go at making something with a set of two, three, and four cards, and what he chose were court cards, well to start with them anyway, kings, and let's see if I can get this into focus. So these have been impossibly joined together. You don't know how on earth they've been done because there's no cuts, there's no folds, there's no rejoins to them, and yet they are interlocked and can't move. Well, they move a little bit from there to there. And there's a set of two there, which is the first of the set. So then he had to go up putting three cards together with a similar folding, and this took a lot, lot, lot more time, much more difficult. And the pieces, I suppose, when they're properly laid out, would be 120 degrees each to each other, because they're making a full 360 degree turn. And here's three jacks, all impossibly linked. All impossibly linked. No way of showing how he's put them together and how he's joined them, but with no cuts and no rejoins and nothing. Extraordinary. It's slightly a bit more. And the last piece of use was his Pierre de Resistance, which took him the longest time, of course. And this is a set of four cards. And these again move very slightly. But look at this. That's an astonishing bit of work. Very, very nice, that. And look at the sides and there's the back and little windows etc this is i think angus uh, ex excelling himself with some um, his items two three and four cards all in little in a series and every one of them with a very similar type of theory of cuts but they're joined in some impossible way he's never told me how <laughs>